Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Thanks as always for checking out the videos. Today I want to talk to you about the SERB3. The SERB3. Got this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Their website is smkw.com. smkw.com. So uh, there's links down in the description section if you want to head over there and pick up one of these knives. Uh, the reason I wanted to check out this knife and review it is because I've seen it a lot. I know some people really like it. And also because I used the SE Hunglist not too long ago. And I thought if I took that knife and combined it with a smaller knife like this, I might have a good knife system or cutting system for being out in the woods. Something I've been talking about a lot in recent videos is how to combine different tools, particularly larger knives and smaller knives, in, into a, a system that's going to work for you in the woods. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to make a fire. We're going to do some tasks with this to make the fire. And then I'm going to show you some of the woods work I did with it to uh, create a couple items. So um, let's jump right into making the fire. Let's get a little birch bark prepped here for our fire. So that's what that looks like. We're gonna do a little feather sticking now. That should help get our fire started. I'm gonna show you a couple other items that I carved with the RB3. Uh, this is a pot hanger, and basically what you're gonna do is two Y sticks over your fire, a support stick across the middle, and then you can hook this onto the support stick and then hang the bale of your uh, pot in whatever, whichever one of those, if you want it closer to the fire or further away from the fire. So you can see that all carved up from the RB3. The other thing I made was a baton, and this is the first time I've ever made one like this. So I saw uh, Patrick Rollins do this and this um, in a video featuring the RB3 and I thought I want to make both those things so I'm going to try it out. So basically what you do is you cut with your saw around the edge um, in a little bit and then you're going to baton until you have kind of a centerpiece and then you smooth it out. Um, one thing I can tell you about carving this is yeah you do a lot of this but then when you get down toward the base you have to do a lot of carving where you kind of put the knife in and pop 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 and that let me just clean that off there but that edge that scandy grind is none worse for the wear after all that so no dings no little divots no chips nothing so yeah I was able to do both these things right there probably about you know 40 minutes just sitting around obviously you saw it did some of that detail work scraping cutting it does the carving does the feather sticking so all that to say do I like it I do um, this knife, I would probably add maybe one more small uh, neck knife to, something even smaller than the Azula, um, like one of their bird and trout knives, and I would put that on a neck, uh, you know, carry that as a neck knife, this, and then a hunglis, and you've got from your very, very detailed work to carving and such, up to that larger, that larger knife. Here's some specs on the knife. End to end is 8.125 inches, 3.5 inches for your blade. Your weight is 5.87 ounces, so pretty nice lightweight knife. Does have micarta handles there. You got what they're calling their stone wash finish. You can see it's stone wash. It definitely looks like satin when you kind of look at it on the camera there. Obviously, a scanty got grind with that drop point. 4.625 inches for your handle, and it is 0.8 inches thick. A reminder, if you're not a regular viewer of Everyday Tactical Vids, I have large size hands and this knife fits me well. So if you have tiny little hands, it's probably going to be too big. If you have big mitts, then this is probably going to be too small for you. 
Your steel for this knife is 1095, so as always, um, great steel for the outdoors. Just make sure you wash it, dry it, and then put a little oil on it when you're done using it. Here's a look at your sheath. You can see it does say SE Camplor there. There's the loop on the back. Got a nice welt there. Um, the stitching's good. It's held up. It rests nice and deep, as you can see. Um, I uh, was out hiking in the woods probably for, you know, three, four hours, let's say, give or take. And this thing didn't move, didn't fall out. I was climbing up over things. So I don't think you're going to have any issues with retention. And it actually rests high enough that when, I can, when I'm hiking with it on my belt, I can throw, you know, my fleece or whatever, my shirt over the top of it. So I would, like, stop and run into Dunkin' Donuts to, like, get a coffee. And, um, you know, it's not like it's standing out and jumping out to people. And it's small enough. It also looks like just kind of a work or utility knife. Price point for this knife is just under $100 over at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Wrapping up here, what I'll say is this. If you don't have a small bushcraft style knife and you're looking for one, you know, maybe three to five inches, this is one I would definitely check out. This does a lot of work, comfortable. Um, one thing I liked about it is I didn't have to kind of readjust my hand a ton, say like, okay, where's that comfortable spot? Where's that comfortable spot? It just kind of, once I got it locked in to what was comfortable, I could just rock and roll and do the, uh, do the work I wanted to do. And um, SC's got a great reputation. They're gonna give you that lifelong uh, warranty. So yeah, highly encourage you guys to check this out. I'm gonna be using this one quite a bit going into the future. Links down below in that description section if you wanna pick up this or other gear from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. SMKW.com is that website again. And um, as always, thanks for watching the videos here on Everyday Tactical Vids. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.